Today we're gonna try something a little bit different and use a practice head, which is just a uh, printed out laminated piece of paper with this nice face on it, which is available for free download on the link in the description. Um, we're gonna do a butterfly again, because I feel like I have improved my butterfly and we're gonna try that one more time, this time with a rainbow, because who doesn't love rainbow butterflies? So you're gonna take your silk synthetic sponge, um, we're gonna get that nice and wet. We're gonna load up that sponge with our rainbow color here. Just slide it back and forth across to load it up all the way. And now we're gonna have them close their eyes nice and lightly like they're sleeping. Can't really do that, so we're just gonna kinda go on top and try and avoid the eyes. You're gonna just lay your sponge down in a nice shape like that. And you're gonna do that on both sides. And this can be adjusted depending on the forehead that you have. If you have enough space to go crazy, then go crazy and make it nice and big. Otherwise, just work with what you've got. in here just like that kind of like they're pointing towards that invisible dot in the center I like to squeeze my sponge so it's a bit of a of a triangle like that so that way you get that shape in there And these edges don't have to be great because you're going to go over them with white anyway. So it's no big deal if they're a little bit messy. The other cool thing about these uh, laminated sheets is that they're totally reusable. So you can just use a baby wipe and wipe off when you're done or if you make any mistakes on it. Alright, now we're going to use our whites. This would also be where I put glitter if I was adding glitter, but we're not going to do that today. So I'm just going to load up my number four low Cornell liner brush with white and we're going to pull down two nice big teardrops down towards the middle. One for each side. And sometimes I like to add a little second one just to make it fancy. All right, and now my new method, instead of doing the this kind of a shape like I had done before, we're gonna do just extra teardrops. So I'm gonna pull in, let's see, like one, let's do one, two, three, maybe one, two, three, down towards the corner of that eye. All right, and then for the bottom part, we're gonna go back and make this look nice and lacy here in a minute. But for the bottom part, we're gonna do our teardrop, pull in like that, and then come around and give it a nice curly cue. And also pull in some extra teardrops. extra two on the bottom, kind of like inside. Alright, and now we're going to make it extra fancy. So we're going to kind of outline these, but not touching them. So we're going to start up here, we're going to make a nice like round squiggly around those ones and same right there match that on both sides follow these ones around too it's already looking so pretty 
and give any of these nice teardrops an outline if you feel like it. I also like to add, depending on how much space they have here, I like to add a couple extras on the inside as a bonus. All right, and then you can just finish it off, this part, with a couple little dots. Make it nice and symmetrical. And then finally, you need a body. So for the body, the fastest way to do it is to take that same white brush, give yourself a heart right in the middle. So just pull down like twice with your liner brush. An extra dot and then a teardrop makes the body. And then you can either do two more teardrops for the antennas or you can give them a nice big spiral. Curly Q with some dots. And there you go, you have a really beautiful rainbow butterfly or any color butterfly you want. That's super fast and easy because it's really only two colors, one sponge and one brush color. So you're pretty good to go. I really like this design. It fits most faces and looks awesome. So give it a try. Um, practice on one of these printables and tell me what you think. <laughs> Thanks so much and see you next time.